Hello everyone and welcome back to Gamer Hacks channel. So today's video is about the cards and what are the most important cards and how to get them. So let's start. The cards to access to them you press on the legacy then press on card collections. And once you open these you will see that I have most of the cards already. But not all of these cards are important. There is actually three different types of cards that are important. The first one is this one. And this one is kinda the easiest one to get. You might be able to get these cards in no time. Uh, maybe give it a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks or even less. Because Celia card can be uh, sold by NPC, but this NPC is not spawned all the time. He spawned at the certain uh, server time. I will uh, let you know later how to get the Celia card, but this will be in another video. Also, Solas card can be getting from uh, a quest at the beginning of uh, the game. So, uh, some people uh, do multiple characters to get Solas, but I don't recommend doing that. It's a waste of time. So, there's actually other uh, other method to also to get these, Solas and Celia. And these are kind of the hardest card to get. And I will let you know also how to get all of these cards. And then moving on to the second most important cards. And this is not actually the, th the second most important. This is the most important cards. These are... The course. These are, uh, it's called History of Orc. I'm not sure in, in Europe how it's called, but these are the most important and the most expensive cards. As you can see, all of them are legendary cards, and legendary cards are really hard to get. So if you got enough of these cards, you will get bonus of the light damage plus 7%. In Europe, it's called Holy Damage, and also you will get another 8% Holy Damage. And of course, uh, this thing that attacks influence slight damage light damage make you really really good like uh, Because you know the bosses most of the bosses at the end game are demons So when you make light damage you make huge damage to them So this one will convert all your attacks into light element which will make your attacks much more stronger versus these type of bosses the demon bosses which almost all the end game bosses are demons that's why this is the most important one but it's hard to get i'm not gonna lie it's really hard to get but i will let you know how to get them then the final good set of cards this is for the support if you are playing support these are the last one and these actually it's called the fate of tortuke and these give you Physical defense, magical defense, and this is really good for support. If you are not a support, it's useless for you. And also this one, good for as a support because, you know, it reduces the damage when you are blue 50% health. Reduces the damage by 12%, first stage, and second stage, then ATC. So the cores are really, really important in general because the bonus that you get, let's say this one gives you critical chance plus 7%, and these are really important. Also, in the collection, this you need only one card of each type, and if you got this one card, you will uh, get collection, and this collection give you a Thompson Gold collection effect or card effect. As you can see, uh, like uh, I have uh, STR plus 20, 125 and 125, crit 26, speciality uh, low. So this in general increases your stats, but you need only one card of each type. Unless you are the you need the bonus. So some of the bonus, like let's say this one increases the damage versus human, but you need the cards to be level 10. And I will let you know later how to increase the, the level of the card. So to get level 10, you will get this bonus damage versus human, etc. But you the only thing that you need damage for is damage versus demons. But that the the percentage will be really low. Like as you can see, the percentage is uh, as as level 1 0.06 percent which is really low you can get max if you max it everything you can maybe get two percent or something uh, damage versus demons and as i said because demons are the most important because most of the into game passes are demons but two percent is not bad but of course it will take a lot of time so don't care about this for now it will take it will just build up by itself and simply if you go to workshop, this is all the cards I have. Like as you can see, I have a lot. By the way, if you don't have enough space, you can press on here and buy extra space for your cards. So uh, let's say how to level up any card. As you can see, any card has 
five different levels. And to level up any card, you need a extra card of the same type. So this one, I have 14 different cards extra of the same card. So what I'm gonna use, uh, do you see this upgrade points? This is uh, XB and that's why I said, don't waste your uh, XB and into any type of course, just use it on this type of course, either the one that give you credit chance or the one that give you influence light element. So normally I don't waste my XP, but this is just because I need I make tutorial for you guys. So let's say I I need to upgrade one of these cards. Let's say this one. So this one I need to uh, max out the XP, then press here. Then to upgrade the card from level zero to level one. So I need to get one card of the same type, and as you can see, it's now plus six. Now let's say I will do it again max out and then press again but this time if i am level two it will take two cards instead of only one then again i will do it again but this time it will not take two cards this time it will take three cards because to reach level three you need three different cards of the same type Th sorry three cards of the same type yeah so now i need three cards Simple as that, now my card is level 3, but if I try to progress more, maybe try to get it level 4, I will not be able to do that, because as you can see, I can't, because it needs 4 cards and I have only plus 1, that's why I cannot get it more, so this is how it works, and as you, said, as you see guys, let's say uh, you got all these cards, this is a level 1, then to get the, the more effect you need to level up these cards more, so that's 2, two three two 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 that's why i have total amount of general level of 12 so that uh, that's how you can get the bonus or uh, here influence light element here i got the bonus which is the greater chance plus uh, seven so the most important cons are uh, as i said are this one this one and the one that give you uh, defense for the support so how to get these cards uh, so the most the most effective method is by searching on how to get them. So let's say we are talking about any card. Uh, let's say we are talking about maybe uh, Amen, Aman. Okay, you you go here for this one. It's called uh, item and item codex. You press on that, then then you search for the the one you need. Let's say a man, okay? You search for that, and it will tell you all the ways you can get uh, the cards from. So a man can be getting from void dungeons. Not only a man, almost all the cards can be getting from void dungeons. And of course, you can play void dungeon from here. Here is the void dungeons. You can go and play void dungeons. Also, there is uh, this is another actually card which is Dylan Aman. Also, you need this one. So this one you can get it from either Void Dungeon or Seeker Marks. What are the Seeker Marks? Are the collectibles? You can press Alt L to see all the collectibles. So you can actually get it from uh, Seeker Mark. So these, if you collect enough, you can go to the NBC and get. Uh, Delian Aman. Of course, if you don't know what are the Seeker Marks, Seeker Marks are these. The Adventure Book or the Adventure Tomb in Europe. With the Seeker Mark, you need to reach 100% of this one, so you can uh, get this one, which is the Seeker Marks. As you can see, every each time I reach 100%, I get it. Of course, still need a lot to get, be able to get the others. But this is how generally you can get the Seeker Marks. Also, inside the Adventure Book, some of the cards can be sold, like this one here, the East Latin one, like, you know, the prices of the last one is to Princess Cillian, so you can get simply Princess Cillian. And also, guys, uh, sometimes as a gift from these NPCs, of course, you know, the, the report in, in Europe or the affin affinity here, uh, when you build a relationship with an NBC, it gives you uh, free rewards. So let's say uh, I'm talking about Yorn. No, no, not your Ponica. Okay. Let me see which one gives you the legendary card. Okay, so let's say you want a Beatrice legendary card. You actually build a relationship with uh, Beatrice, and at, at the end, it will give you the legendary card of Beatrice. Also, the same area with Ninov, and Ninov, this one is, is a really important card. You can get him by the same way, you need to give her uh, a lot of uh, 
gifts and she will give you also gold sometimes give you a lot of gold like as you can see 100 gold and also 100 gold over 10 so that's total 1000 gold by the way and at the end it will give you nino uh, legendary card you need that so this is the another method if how to get the legendary cards of course if you are lucky and this is also another method is by getting these packs these packs here uh sometimes if you are lucky you don't have by the way you to buy them but i will just buy them as a demonstration you don't have to buy them you can uh get them from different quests and different stuff there's way too many ways to get these cards without buying them but i will just buy them as a demonstration for you guys so yeah let's buy them if you are playing Europe, you will see that you get a lot of these uh, from different quests. But anyways, if you want to buy them, you can also buy them, but it's really expensive. Like, as you can see, it costs me a lot of gold. But yeah, if you are lucky enough, you might get a legendary card out of these. If you are lucky. Of course, if you are not, then you might just get normal cards. So yeah, that's how it works, guys. This is how you can get the cards. Uh, the last one is the, is the merchant, and the merchant can be uh, for Celia, uh, and Celia, the most important, are actually spawn at, at one of these towns. One, two, three, four, and uh, he spawn at the certain time, uh, but this will be in a different video because it will take a lot of time to explain how to get the Celia card, because, you know, the Celia card... Here can give you the bonus plus seven percent if you max it out this and max it out this because these are the most easy, the easiest one to get. So I will try to make another video on how to get Celia on how to get Solus card. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, guys, for being watching, and see you guys in the next one. Bye.